Hello guys, Andrew back again, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Liverpool's owners, FSG, and why I think it's time to either spend the money that they have, or just sell up shop, because we're, we're going to we're gonna go through them. They've been in charge of us for about 10 years, but let's go a bit deeper than this, right? So who is SFG? They are a Fenway sports group. They're like an American company, they are, that Fenway Sports Group, that's what FSG stands for. They're an American sports group who is also owners of Boston Red Sox in um, the baseball. Not, I don't really know much about baseball, but they're in charge of them. And um, obviously they're in charge of Liverpool Football Club. And in October 2010, they saved the club. In my opinion, if they hadn't have done it, I think we would have gone into administration. I would go that far. And, um, yeah, because Gillett and Hicks were in charge before them, they were hopeless. Don't even get me started on those two clowns. Um, the first thing, well, I wouldn't, it's not necessarily the first thing he did, but it was. Like, in two months after this, he took over in October 2010. In January, he appoints Kenny Dalglish, which was a great signing, but then sold the club's best player at the time, arguably, in Fernando Torres. And he bought uh, Luis Suarez and Andy Carroll. Two um, great signing. Uh, no, one was good. The other was a bloody donkey, but... um. I think we can tell which one's which. Uh, the f yeah, he sacked Roy Hodgson, and which was the right decision to do because Roy didn't have a clue what he was doing. In 2012, though, after a League Cup win and an FA Cup final, he decided to sack Henny Dalglish due to a very poor league position. I personally disagree with this idea but I thought it was a I could see his point but I felt it was a bit harsh to sack him yes the league was bad but he did well in the domestic cups then but he got replaced by Brendan Rodgers and at the time Brendan was a young Northern Irish manager with bright ideas everyone thought this and he did well and he invested and players Rodgers wanted him to invest in. Credit goes to him for that. He didn't buy the top, top players. But I don't think Liverpool could really approach them at that point. But yeah. Um, and then in 2014. Uh, he, bought, he also bought players like Coutinho and Sturridge. Before that brilliant idea. But in 2014 after finishing second in the league. And so nearly winning it. He sells the club's best player, Suarez. And he invests the money that we got for Suarez, yeah. On what? A bunch of junk, really, being honest. Balotelli, Markovic, nowhere near were good enough to put on the red shirt. In uh, 2015, was... 2014 and 15 was the worst year for me, personally, as a Liverpool fan. We were seeing our best player... Arguably ever in the club. I think Rush is the best. But Gerrard was in my opinion. One of the best players in the like in his position. And ever to play football. I love the man. Um, But it was his last year at Liverpool. And the way we bowed out with him. Was shocking. It was. We finished 6th in the league. Got beaten by Villa in a cup semi-final. And got ameliorated in the Champions League in the process. And Rodgers didn't even play Gerrard in the Real Madrid away game. And it was Gerrard's dream to play at the Bernabeu. But this is not on Rodgers, it's FSG. That wasn't nothing to do with them. I'm just saying the investment wasn't good enough. But this is where the problem was with them, right? Despite bombing out of Europe the way we did. And embarrassing ourselves in the league. Which also included a 3-1 defeat at Palace. And then a 6-1 defeat 
defeat to Stoke on the last day of the season. 6-1 to Stoke. He should have been sacked then and there. But no, no, they decided to keep him to see how it would go. Because they didn't want to spend money to get rid of him. And they do it, they finally do it. But guess when they do it? Halfway through the next season. But we'll talk about that in a minute. Because that summer, he also sold um, Sterling and reinvested that money. Not really much more money he invested. He only invested the money from Sterling. I wasn't too happy about that. And the squad wasn't great. But then with an appointment of Klopp, which is the best thing he's done for the club, was appointing Klopp. Because Klopp is a genius. And, uh, well, yeah. Then we started to improve. We started to spend some money again. It was going good. 2018, we reached the Champions League final. And he spent over a hundred million. I, that needs to be recognition for. But then since winning the Champions League, it's been a different story completely. He has not reinvested that Champions League winning money. He spent eleven million since winning the damn thing. It's something like eleven million. He spent some on Elliot and some on Mini Mimo. He's Bottle transfers like Pepe, Fekir, and lately Werner. When we were in pole position to get them. He's bottled all three because he doesn't want to reach into the pocket and spend money. And it's just like, it's got me thinking that. And you guys might disagree with this. I think he's only in the job. I think he's only owner for a profit. If Liverpool did... um. Get rid of him. Uh, would. I, I wouldn't want to shake. Coming in. I really. I want Liverpool to be a fan owned club. I think every club. In the world. Should be fan owned. I really do. Bohemians. My Irish club. They're fan owned. And. I, I just think. It's a good idea. I really do, because then clubs like Blackpool and Blackburn wouldn't be in the wrecks they are in because of crap ownership. And, yeah, like, we're not the worst owners in the world. I will admit that. I still don't think we're great, but we're not the we're not the worst in the world. There's much worse clubs than us being owned right now. But, um, yeah, I would say that I do think SFG need to either spend the money... Put their money where their mouth is, or just sell the club to someone who actually will invest and back Klopp a bit more. Anyway, it's been Andrew. You guys have been awesome for watching this. See you later.